Oh, cute baby. <laughs> and um, it's gonna be Amanda. It's going to be a hairdresser. Touching her hair. Pulling her, her hair. Okay, highlights at home. Okay, 20 volumes. It's okay. Crazy. They are crazy. It's too watery. It depends on the technique that you are using, how thick the cream, the bleaching cream has to be. But this is like water, it's like, it's not possible to do highlights with this. I'm wondering how they're going to put the highlights in, with foils or something? Foils? So they are going to use uh, foils, they are not going to do the back, I believe, they section something, I don't know why, but they are going to do only the regrowth. So this is a good thing, uh, if the lengths are blonde already, you don't have to do them, because it's just damaging your hair and it's already blonde, so you don't have to do that. But if you are using foils, you have to put the top, foil it double, so the bleach is not going to the roots on the scalp and it's really difficult to do foils if you don't if you're not trained you have a great possibility you have stains and i said they are crazy she's just coloring oh she's waving someone has watched it watched at the hairdresser He didn't foil it. She's doing the length. She says she's going to do only the top. She only has to do the regrowth. She's doing the length. It's already blonde. Yes, you have to blend a little, but this is too far. It's, it's completely colored. It's really difficult to do a nice highlight. Uh, even professionals, uh, some professionals struggle with this technique. And uh, it takes a lot of time to do that.
mentioning, we're actually, we have a lot more bleach. Welcome back to another video. Oh, we're gonna get more uh, tin foils. Yes, too, because we're yeah. using layer old tin foil. Yeah. 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 I know it's just a yellow salon, but like I have some class, I'm kind yeah. of what you say. Mm -hmm. So we're actually back for round two. So we're hopping like one week, and there's round two. Why? Why there is a round two? Because what's not good? We don't see the result. I believe it was not close enough to the roots, uh, and I didn't see many, many, many foils. Uh, if you do uh, highlights with foils, you have to take sections, find sections, find sections, many, many, many sections to have a nice result. I believe that was the case that it was not good done. We are one week later and this is round two. So now they have professional foils. That's better because they are in the right size. And they lift it up a little more. Instead of 20 volumes, we are now using 30 volumes. No, 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 it's not nicely done, I'm sorry. The lengths are blonder, the regrowth is patchy, yellow, there are a lot of pieces that are still dark, it's uneven, and the hair is really damaged, it's not nice. So this first video is finished, and we didn't see any nice result, uh, it's really jumping from one place to another. I think they are crazy uh, and the, the editing is really even crazy as the girls. So we're going to see the second video and it's the title is Bleaching Hair at Home is Going Seriously Bad and Chemical Burn. Let's see uh, what happens. I hope she's okay. So what we're getting, because we're actually dyeing Amanda's hair for the 10th time. <laughs> so we're getting this. Can 20? Ah, oh, quick blue. Okay, first of all, I see a lot of fails with quick blue. It's quick, quick dry, quick damaged, quick broke, quick fail. But I haven't seen any good result with quick blue. Uh, I'm sorry, L'Oreal, but it is. All the fails. Uh, they showed the package quick blue. Snow cap toner by the brand IR. Okay, and this big bleach. Yeah. So, we're going to get this one. Yeah. Um, and we're looking for something. Oh, right here. Scalp protector. Sensitive scalp protector. It's literally right here. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Let's go. Scalp protector. Fucking scam. Are you fucking sister serious? That's normal. Like, this is the box. That's normal. Oh, the scalp protector. It's a good thing. Okay, no foils, just bleaching. I'm wondering why this video is calling part two because it's nothing to do with the foils that we saw in the previous video, but okay. You have to know, sometimes you see these videos and they are talking and they are filming and they are telling about their lives and uh, something happened and, and you know. The moment that you put the first section this section will color already. If it takes 30 minutes or longer to color the whole head, just know if this section was last and you leave it for like 30 minutes, this will be on your head for 60 minutes. If you do it at home, somebody else do, does it, or you do it by yourself, start at the back. 
just set a timer for 30 minutes, then color the front, set a new timer, and then after 30 minutes the first timer goes off, you can rinse the back, and then wait another 30 minutes. If you are taking an hour to color, to color it's normal that you have uneven colors. The sections are too big. It's like this sections that she's taking. It has to be very fine. If you put a color on side and you flip it, the color has to come through the hair. So if you take thick sections, the color cannot go in the middle. So you have a patchy result. Oh my god! It was burning and itching and she asked the other girl to wash it out uh, because she couldn't take it anymore or she was too curious, I don't know. And now it's too yellow because it takes time to melt the pigments out of your hair and what is left is the yellow pigment. So she's, the other girl is saying we have to bleach it again. Uh, you have two options. or. Uh, you color it in a darker blonde and it's okay because if it's itching and burning already and you couldn't stand it it's not a good idea to color it again because it will be worse it's yellow So it's, it's normal that a toner hurts more than the bleaching. A lot of people say the toning was worse than the bleaching. Yes, because the toning is putting directly on a stressed scalp. It was bleached two times, so the scalp is damaged. So the pores and, and the scalp is really, 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 it's like you have burned from the sun and you're rubbing on it. It will hurt. It's like the same thing. Then you put a toner, it's like less volume. It's like I said, said before, less volume is possible, but still it's coloring. And that is why it's hurting. It's hurting because your scalp is already damaged and she couldn't stand it. They have to rinse it right away. And it, it's, it's a good thing that they rinsed it right away because if it's itching, it's burning, rinse it off. I, sometimes I see a lot of people, oh it's itching, oh it's burning, oh it's itching, oh it's burning. I left it on for 40 minutes. What? If it's itch, if it burns, rinse it off. You're hurting yourself. But I have to say this. Shampoo, purple shampoo is not toning yellow hair. It's not. It's not a magical product. You have shampoos that are working very good if you already have some silver color or white hair, then you can have a really nice silver. And if you have a silver color, silver blonde, to maintain it, it will be okay.
They say she like washed it like 10 times with the purple shampoo. If you are standing in the shower, of course these products will go into your eye. Be careful, you only have two eyes. I'm wondering if this purple is coming off. It's also possible if your hair is really damaged, really porous, that will, will absorb these purple pigments of the shampoo and your hair will be purple. I've seen it before with uh, even older people that washed her, their hair many times with these purple shampoos and it gets purple. So it's also possible if your hair is too damaged that it will get purple, purple strings in your hair. Okay, there's no purple left, luckily, but let's see the end result. Let's dry your hair, let's see the end result. Nice dog. Nice doggy. He's thinking, don't color my hair. Don't. Where is the chemical burn? Okay. We don't see the end result. It's still orange at the top. Okay. We cannot see the end result, but you saw on the scalp that it was yellow uh, and the lengths were really white, and I think it was really damaged. No matter what the title said, chemical burn. Um, I've seen worse. Uh, luckily for the girl, it was not, it was uh, not too bad because sometimes I see people are bleeding, uh, that their scalp is bleeding. So be, please be careful. I've seen on the YouTube page that are a lot of different uh, videos of hair extensions, and every time they said it's fried or but they don't show the the end result always. So if you like this video, give. Uh, this video a thumbs up uh, follow this girl uh, Mel Forelli uh, on YouTube and please subscribe to my channel press that notification bell and also follow me on Instagram that's also possible and uh, for now I just saying ciao guys